This is Westfield Mall in downtown San Francisco. At 1.5 million square feet, it is one of the largest urban shopping centers in all of the world. It houses 170 specialty stores, two anchor department stores, four floors of class A office space, a gourmet marketplace, and a nine screen cinema. Or at least it used to. Now, Westfield Mall is a shell of itself, a ghost mall in the center of San Francisco, a haunting relic of what happens when your city goes woke, when your city prioritizes criminals over peaceful citizens. The Westfield Mall in downtown San Francisco is now a monument to the failures of that city. It is a shell of its former self after hundreds of high-profile departures and only a 25% occupancy rate after the footfall inside of the mall has plunged by half in just a few years. The mall has lost over $1 billion in value, and if you walk inside, you can see why. Welcome to historic Westfield Mall in San Francisco, the creepiest mall in America because even though this mall is still open, there's virtually no stores here. Why? Well, because the crime and the filth and the drugs and the homeless people in San Francisco make fine dining and shopping virtually impossible. And so this mall is shutting down, but they haven't shut down just yet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to America's creepiest abandoned mall that's still functioning and open for some reason. Everywhere we looked, every single storefront was shut down. Some of these storefronts are pretty iconic. You know which stores were there. It's an eerie feeling to see a place that should be so full of life, completely empty. It's crazy, you're right in downtown San Francisco and I mean, sure, there's a few stores that are left open, but pretty much everything is just closed. Entire wings of the mall are now are shut down. This isn't in some type of like rural, you know, like small Midwestern town. This is in the heart of San Francisco. I mean, look at this. Somebody spent a lot of money on building either a really awesome tap room or, or some type of really Cool store. I, I guess I'm not fashionable enough to know if this is some type of fashion brand, but it's all closed down now. Ruins, ruins of a once great civilization. Abandoned movie theater in the zombie mall. This is crazy. These are all movie theaters. You see now showing. This is where obviously the movie posters. had a bustling bar restaurant here totally abandoned popcorn candy right here popcorn maker all gone right big bucket of popcorn candy right here creepy abandoned zombie mall movie theater jeez the screens where you'd see your movie time, your show time, presumably where you'd buy your tickets. It smells like piss. It was lunchtime while we were filming in the middle of the afternoon and walking around this massive empty mall. There's gotta be a food court around here somewhere. There's gotta be a place for somebody to grab something to eat. Right. This food court is super depressing, man. Some big name brands, Panda Express. Man, dude, your Panda Express can't survive, you got problems. It's like so sad, they must have just gone out of business. Everything's still, everything's still there, but all lights are off. Wokeness destroys everything. Even pink, pink tea shop. Things have gotten so bad here, they don't even restock the uh, soda. 
Soft drink? Coke? What do you call it? Soda? If you're from the Midwest, you call it soda pop. Soda pop. But there's none here. So you can see this used to obviously be more floors of the mall going up, but now it's all gated off, chained off. They won't even let you go. I mean, this should be the entrance to the escalator right here. But you can't go up. You can see the gates. There are five more floors that should be shopping area. No. These were all supposed to be, these are all supposed to be retail shops. This is all supposed to be like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Dome. This is what it this is what it should have been with like Nordstrom shops here. So that's what we're looking at. But closed down. The reason why Nordstrom closed this flagship location after nearly four decades in Westfield Mall was because of the rampant theft. You can't run a business with fine items and luxury goods when your store looks like this. This is footage from a Nordstrom's in California, which decriminalized the theft of items under $1,000. And so stores like Nordstrom's, who have lots of luxury goods that are around $1,000, are just looted and ransacked by criminals. This is not a civilization. This is anarchy. And in case you're thinking this simply affects high-end luxury retailers, think again. Amazon-owned, super-woke Whole Foods shut down their store in San Francisco. They can't survive under these conditions. Old Navy can't survive under these conditions. Walmart can't survive under the chaos of California anarchy. What happens to all the jobs? What happens to all the opportunities when all of these stores close? you descend further and further into madness, further and further into the abyss, further and further into zombie land. The ruins of a lost civilization. And who killed this civilization? Wokeness. Wokeness destroyed this civilization. You are looking at what is going to happen to the rest of America if you allow these policies to hit your city. The zombie mall. Don't let your city become a zombie city. It's literally a zombie city. You see no stores. Look at this. No stores, no shops. Nothing open. You can't see a single store. And that's why this mall is closing. Creepy. It's creepy in here. We hear a lot in our modern society about victim culture and victimhood. Often it is the super woke who perpetually moan and mule and bitch about how everybody is a victim. Yet, the Westfield Mall is a victim. The citizens of San Francisco who can no longer shop or eat or dine or spend time with their children inside of this beautiful building, they're victims. The stores themselves and the people who worked hourly jobs at these stores, they're victims. It's the woke in San Francisco who are the true villains of the story. They decided to turn the city over to criminals. They decided to prioritize the rights of criminals over the rights of peaceful, law-abiding, tax-paying citizens. Don't let your city go to the way of San Francisco. Don't vote in these zombies, these parasites. They'll do this to your city. It can happen here. Stop them now. From San Francisco, it's your boy Benny. Zombie killers, let's go.